Welcome to Dollar Tree and to do it on a dime. If you've got 30 seconds, you're gonna love these tricks. Not only are these ideas fast, but I've got lots of value for you right up until the very end. The cellophane is awesome at Dollar Tree, not just the shrink wrap version. These are awesome for creating DIY gift baskets. This is the number one most created Christmas DIY on my channel. Dollar Tree socks, a little bit of chapstick, roll up, connect with a hair tie. These look like little candies when you wrap with cellophane. Great gift idea for just two bucks. And since we're already here, I'm gonna grab some paper lanterns. I'm also gonna grab some Dollar Tree fairy lights. Assembling these takes just seconds and you won't believe the tablescape we're about to create. You're gonna string the fairy lights into your lantern. I'm also gonna grab a couple of these for just $3. We're gonna wrap them in cellophane. This is gonna make a beautiful addition. If you've been following my channel this year, you know how much I have gone with a candy theme. We have a whole candy Christmas tree upstairs. Okay, so you wanna take these little candies and put them back to back. And I just put some ribbon on top and I gave it a quick zip. And look at this one. It's the same process for the really large ones. And you have a gorgeous, display and centerpiece for your table that was just six bucks. I got totally sucked into TikTok and found all of these DIYs with Orbeez. The clear Orbeez are so fun to use for decorating, but we're gonna make it using Dollar Tree products. This year, the Dollar Tree carries extra large clear ornaments. You also need vase filler, sometimes known as Orbeez, that are clear. Cover a pinch or two, you hardly need any, in a bowl with water. Wait about 24 hours and these will expand into these squishy little balls. They are so fun to run your fingers through, but please keep away from children and pets. Then I'm gonna stick these right in my ornament. I love how they're all contained like this and I stuck it on top of a napkin ring. Then I took those little Christmas trees, I still had some left over, and stuck them down into the Orbeez and I used a skewer to get them in place. Now for the magic. Fill with water and these become translucent, giving it the appearance of a snow globe. If you don't like the way the trees are positioned, because it's really hard to see when you're making this, I just dig a skewer down inside again to move them into place. Refresh the water about as often as you would for flowers. This DIY is such a wow and so easy to do. One of my favorite Dollar Tree products are these little night lights. I want you to grab one of these and we're gonna create a really cute winter wonderland theme on it. I took some Dollar Tree spackle from the auto section and just spread this right on top. What is it? Is it snow? Is it frosting? We don't know. For this one, I decided to add a few little candies. You could add ornaments and get super creative. I actually bought two of these because I wanted to try another technique. I added Mod Podge to the top of the light. Now these are LED lights and I found that they work really, really well. And then when this dries, this is going to harden completely. And the Mod Podge dries really quickly. So I added some glitter and of course I had to make a big mess while I did it. This is actually the fake snow from Dollar Tree. And I took those same mini trees and I just stuck them right on top. I really wanted to give this a winter wonderland feel. So I decided to make more of a mess. Add Mod Podge to the front, a little bit more snow. Look how beautiful these look after they dry. Let me know which one is your favorite. But I had a bunch of spackle left over and I wanted to use it. And my friend Bargain Bethany here on YouTube taught me how to make mug toppers. But I decided to stick this on top of a candle this time. I did not use a piping bag or anything like that. I literally just frosted this with the rest of the spackle container like I would a cupcake. I used every little bit. And then I grabbed an ornament that I got from Walmart this year. These are some of my favorite. They look like little candy canes to create a little snow theme. And I sprinkled on some of the fake snow as well to give it a sparkle. Now here's a great thing. Bath and Body Works candle toppers fit on all the candles. So I can just take this lid for all my Christmas candles, keep using it, and it creates a pretty display next to the candle as it burns. And now it's time to get practical. Let's talk about those things you barely need to DIY, like this beautiful little door hanger with bells on it. I absolutely loved these this year for just $1.25. These are really elegant this year. Holy cow, I love them. How pretty. I am all about unconventional tablescapes. I really like these giant bulbs and they come in different colors and textures. We're gonna grab an odd amount of them to put as a table centerpiece. Maybe something to add to the top. Let me know what you think. One of my favorite mediums, especially over the holidays, is Epsom salt as snow. So I had a little bit left over and I popped it right into this wooden bowl. And then I was able to decorate it with the bulbs, a sparkly dollar tree, <laughs> which really seems oddly fitting. 
grab a couple of these snowflake placemats and a can of spray paint, you can make a beautiful display board really quickly. Who remembers this throwback? Stick these right onto any type of surfboards or platters, as long as food's not directly touching it, hey? And give it a quick coat of spray paint. And then when you lift it away, these look incredible. I actually put this on a little pedestal. This is just a board that I got really inexpensively. You can find little pedestals at the Dollar Tree. They're just like these little wooden blocks. This is one of those genuinely high-end pieces, and there are a lot of them there this year. These faux fur stockings are also only $3. And when I say this is soft, these are beautiful. I love the Dollar Tree baking containers. They sell out fast. Brand new this year are these clear ones. They are so cute. And they have silicone baking gloves, which are awesome. And they have aprons this year. They are so fun and festive. And speaking of baking, promise me you'll try Catherine's favorite holiday treat one stick of butter, a full bag of marshmallows. You wanna melt this down in the stove, add some food coloring, and four cups of corn flakes. Stir this up and then take a buttered cup that's gonna help it not stick and plop this right on. I use about a half cup and I add some little cinnamon sprinkles. And did you know if you've got parchment paper, you don't just stick it in your containers, flip it over and drape your parchment paper over the top. Then fold down the corners as if you were folding a present. It's just gonna help it fit in the box a whole lot better. And then I just put my wreaths inside. It's really best that you refrigerate these after you make them. They are so fun and so easy. Your kids are gonna love them. Hey, don't stress, you are enough. <laughs>